In a previous episode, I told you how my goal for this season is to take an older, well-loved Outlander and turn it into a full-on mud racing beast, but to do it with cost in mind. After we stripped the old Audi down to the bare frame, we knew that we had good bones, but to truly perform in the mud, a nearly 10-year-old, 8,000-mile, 800cc Rotax V-Twin just wasn't going to get her done. So it was this time that we loaded up the motor and chassis and headed for the hills. A trek across one province, five states, and 1,150 miles would ultimately bring us to the place where an old engine can see new life, and where performance is not just a word, it's a state of mind. Bikes loaded up, motors in the box of the truck, and we are headed down to see Greg Laughlin at Mr. RPM and turn our 800 Can-Am into something a little bit more wild. So uh, we're excited to see how that goes. It's about a 14 hour drive for us to get down to Greg, but uh, it's well worth the trip. And he's got a good reputation for building some pretty kick arse Can-Am engines that'll go yee yee. So <laughs> we're gonna give it a go and see what happens. Well, years ago, we had a local drag race where we drag raced ATVs. I just had an old 450 Honda and it, you know, they're not very fast at all. 800 Renegades, of course, Outlanders had just came out. I got one of those and started mod modifying it for myself. First thing was clutch kit, tuner. Next thing is I just went with a turbo and a dedicated ECU. And then came big bore and, you know, better clutches. And at the time, there were no good clutches like a, a full built like STM or QSC maybe. So at the time, we just had to play with stock clutches. And years ago, we had the uh, first thing we done was modify old Kawasaki uh, Comet clutches, remachine them so that they would fit the Can-Am taper, and it worked good. But it's it ain't nothing to what we got now. We just you can just buy parts off the shelf, bolt them on, and make power. It's real easy. But that's what that's kind of what got me started. You know, just messing with my own stuff. And once I got a lot of stuff figured out, making cams and all that, you know, shoot, we just went to selling it to people. So it made a good market kind of for ourselves. Greg is really passionate about performance, and you can tell that these motors are second nature to him. It's never a question of what size socket or Torx bit. He just grabs it and goes. If you have the motor out of your Can-Am ATV, he can have it torn completely down. I'm talking ready for reassembly in under 30 minutes. You know, this is an 800 Can-Am. You know, this is an Outlander. Of course, it fits all Renegades too. But we have a few kits for the 800. We have the stock 800 rebuild kit. We have the 860, which is a 94 millimeter version of the stock piston. And then of course we have the 975. Had the 975 for a long time. Uh, works good, it's forged pistons. Good for spray or full race versions. Maybe turbo or something like that. Uh, but the 860 kit is a, a, a real good value bang for the buck. It's got uh, stock style cast pistons. Not much more than factory as far as price gives you a real good bang for the buck, as opposed to the 975. Give you a little bit more displacement than the stock 800 kit and a little bit more compression and hardly no more money, really. So that's that's why I went with that on this. We could have went with a 975, but you're not gonna spray it or nothing, so there's really no need. During the reassembly process, the crew at Mr. RPM have all of the tools necessary to ensure the highest quality and the best performance. If it isn't right, they'll make it right and they have all of the parts in stock. No need to ship, because it's on the shelves. For entry-level guys that just want to do it a little bit, this is a good way to start. Like a lot of other racing, you know, power don't always win. Although it's always good and everybody wants more. Sure does help, which is where we came in with all this. But, you know, you can, if you're good at mud racing, you can take a, a smaller CC bike and some good tires and some skill and run with anybody. You know, if you mess it up, you're not, you're not destroying a great big, you know, $18,000 XMR, you've got a relatively inexpensive older machine. With the motor on its way back together, my excitement for dyno testing was getting pretty high, but there were a few custom adjustments that we'd need to make before we got this thing to that point. Stay tuned to next week's episode where we're gonna continue our custom mud racing build. This segment is just the start for you. Click the subscribe button and become part of the Dirt Tracks Nation where you'll have access to tons of great content from all of the years past of our great stories, trail techs, and test rides.